I became insane with long intervals of horrible sanity. All that we see or see is but a dream within a dream. We love with a love that was more than love. Those who dream by day are cognizant of many things which escape those who dream only by night. Time to take your medicine. Hey, time to take your medicine. <laughs> Open your mouth. It's time to take your pill. No, really, it's time to take your pill. In your mouth. Open wide. Under your tongue. Under your tongue. Swallow. I'm gonna have to see you swallow. Good. Weak and weary over many and a quiet and curious volume, I forgot lore. While I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, tap, 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 as if some gentle rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Tis some visitors, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this and nothing more. Good morning, Nickleton. It's Repo Radio 94.3 FM. That's right, we're having a blast, guys. And I'm hanging out with my little friend here, Tui Bravo in the house. What a show we have for you today. It is Halloween. And caller number 10, if you answer this question correctly, where is Jimmy Hoffa buried? You will get two tickets to the Wicked Town Red Carpet premiere. We're gonna have celebrities, Randy Martinez, 
We're going to have Kevin Martinez. We're going to have Ana Vergara, Fernando Villarreal, Manny Martinez. It's going to be a star-studded night, guys. Caller number 10. Call in right now to Repo Radio. Wow, 94.3 Repo Radio. We are back. And we have a caller. Caller number 10. Where are you from? Hey, caller. Can you hear me? Where was Jimmy Hoffa buried? Now, we have to have an answer, caller. Caller. Ah. All right, guys. Moving on. All right. Next caller. How are you? I'm great. Hi. How are you? My name is Susan. I'm from Alabama. Alabama. Wow. I'm telling you, man, there's beautiful women that come from Alabama. So the question is, where is Jimmy Hoffa buried? And if you answer correctly, you're going to get two VIP tickets to the Wicked Town Red Carpet premiere that's going to be filled with celebrities. What's your answer? Hmm. Oh, I do believe it's in Florida. Florida. <laughs> Woo. Hey, that's a good guess. There's a lot of swamp out there, a lot of alligators, but... No, uh, maybe Marlansky is buried there, but not Jimmy Hoffa. All right, thanks for calling. Thank you. Next caller. Hey, caller. How are you, man? So tell me, where is Jimmy Hoffa buried for two tickets to the Wicked Town Red Carpet premiere? Hey, caller, you there? I could hear you breathing. Uh, um, wow, guys. All right, maybe uh, it beat Halloween. This gentleman's in character already. All right, moving on, guys. That's right. If you went to go see the movie The Joker, it's made almost a hundred million dollars on its opening weekend. Outstanding. Ah, yeah, yeah. Chewy, can you please tell me where was Jimmy Hoffa buried? Guys, don't you guys ever, ever heard of Google? Well, guys, it looks like no one's winning the tickets. Have a great Halloween. 94.3 Repo Radio. I'm out of here. The Repo Man has left the building. This concludes our broadcast day. Good night, and God bless America.
Take this kiss upon the brow. And in parting from you now, thus much let me avow, you are not wrong. Who deem that my days have been a dream? Yet if I hope has flown away in a night or in a day, in a vision or in none, is it therefore the less gone? All that we see or seem. Is but a dream within a dream. A dream.
I see nothing. We may sink and settle on the waves. The sea will drum in my ears. The white petals will be darkened with sea water. They will float for a moment and then sink. Rolling over the waves will show them yonder. Everything falls in a tremendous shower. Eyes so transparent that through them the soul is seen. Well, this is cool. And these are just open? Strange. About halfway through the movie, I noticed something strange in the corner of my eye. While everyone was looking forward at the screen, 
Someone was looking in the opposite direction. The movie, um, The Shining. I glanced behind me, but I couldn't see anything of interest. Then I realized this person was looking back at me. At first, I thought it was just some kid, but as I looked closer, I realized that it was an older man. His eyes were wide open, and I could see a faint smile appearing on his face. So I pulled out my phone and pretended to send some text messages. At least the strong glare from the screen of my phone made it easier to ignore him. Eventually, I ran out of things to do with my phone, and I checked to see if the guy was still staring at me. Fortunately, it appeared that whoever it was had run out of patience and continued watching the movie. But it wasn't long before a sudden movement to the far left at the cinema caused me to turn and look, only to realize that the same creep that was staring at me before had moved to the other end of the row where I was seated. I could feel the hairs on the back of my neck raise as I looked directly forward again, trying to avoid giving any further attention. Footsteps here. What do you think? Oh my god, why would you do that? No. No, I don't. As I cautiously scanned for the nearest exit to my right, I felt a strange vibration. I looked to my left and saw that he had moved a few seats closer. I looked away, trying to recall how many seats were between me and him. Without thinking twice, I stood up and ran for the exit. As I reached the main hallway of the cinema, I tried to call one of my friends for help, but I realized my phone was gone. I must have dropped it as I was running for the exit. It felt like such a big risk to go back in there, but then I heard a commotion coming from inside. It sounded like the movie had finished and everyone was heading for the exits. So I patiently waited as everyone poured into the hallway. I quickly snuck back inside, and I was relieved to see that all the seats were empty, and there was no sign of that guy from earlier. I just needed to find my phone and be on my way. I couldn't see much against the dark floor and poor lighting, but I was optimistic. When I suddenly heard my phone ringing, I looked around frantically to find it, but it sounded like it was coming from the other end of the cinema. I followed the sound until it led me to one of the trash bins next to the front row seat. I couldn't imagine why anyone would throw a perfectly good phone in the trash instead of handing it in or even stealing it. The cinema staff were probably already on their way to clean up, so I had to be fast and find my phone before they showed up. After rummaging through the trash, I finally found my phone, but I almost wish I hadn't when I realized it was covered in blood. Suddenly it all made sense. When I realized I had walked into a trap, I instantly looked behind me and saw him almost grabbing me. I dropped everything and just ran out of the theater, this time without even stopping. I never did quite get over the events that took place that day at the movies but I knew I needed to move on and come to terms with the fact that a public place isn't always a safe place, especially at night. Invisible things are the only realities. My name is Lane. I'm a paranormal investigator. In other words, ghost hunter. I've been doing this for 10 years.
All right, so I probably had a billion on the barn, and I know you're on vacation, but <clears throat> we've had activity down in the barn, and um, how long has it been going on since we moved in? But one of my kids won't even go down there. Really? Yeah. Um, it's more of a feeling for me, if you don't mind. Would you mind going down tomorrow uh, and maybe taking a no, look at it? No, I mean, I no, dude, I didn't know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's a little scary. Is it like not making you? No, it makes it's scary. You know, and how come you never told me? And with the kids gone, and I'm here by myself, girl, it, it gets a little eerie. I and bet. It does. That's why I have the dogs. That's why I have the alarm. That's why I have a lot of different things. The barn's down here. Okay. Watch your step. Yep. See another storm coming in. Look. It's beautiful out here. And watch your step as it gets a little steep going down. I am definitely not dressed for this. It's starting to rain. Feel it? Uh huh. So, what's the story behind the barn? Well, supposedly, the kids had a Ouija board. Okay. And there's some weird stuff going on but when you walk in you can f it just feels weird mm -hmm. and the kids one of my kids won't even go in the barn um, my other ones are in and out periodically but it's a little weird oh. it's a little well, strange I'm, I'm game right. you ready weird stuff just tends to follow me <laughs> I mean here I thought I'm on vacation but hey I don't mind this is <laughs> Labor, labor of love, baby. Labor of love. <laughs> I don't want to miss a thing, can you tell? That's a mess. Watch your step. Yep. Day one, not detecting anything weird just yet, um, except for the creepy cat maybe, but I asked what cats do right. Um, oh, interesting. Yeah, it's attic, huh? Is that, no, that's not an attic. Okay. But that's kind of where everything goes on. Um, supposedly the Ouija board was up there, right? and it was buried out on the property, and I don't know where, so come up and take a look at it. So what's, so, okay, the Ouija board, what Supposedly the kids had the Ouija board playing with it up here. Oh, I see, okay. And I found out that they had a Ouija board, and I told them to get it out of here. Okay, so watch your step. So, it's a little weird. Right. They were out here messing around, and they had a sheet, and they took the sheet and they, like, tossed it up and it came down, but then there was like this form or something underneath it and it moved and the kids wow. tore off out of here. It freaked them out. So they don't hang out here anymore? They're kids. They thought it was kind of cool, but it freaked them out at the moment. Um, what did, what, how about you? Like you're not worried about I don't this? like it out here. I, I get a weird feeling when I'm in here. I don't, I don't mm -hmm. like it. All right. Well, I, I guess. So far, nothing, but, um, man, that cat of yours, though. Not sensing any presence. Okay. 
thought I heard something, but it could just be my vivid imagination playing tricks on me. A shot. The presence in the barn is very strong. Not sure what actually happened here, but <clears throat> I will soon find out. I have a strange feeling, like something really evil happened here. Down in the barn, there's something going on, and I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it's definitely a feeling that I get, and then there's a kid, my kid, that won't even go down there, and, and I just need someone to take a look, it's, it's scary, and it's been going on for some time, and there's some things that have happened. I've been with my friend for 10 days and I feel that it is unsafe for me to be here. I haven't slept in days. I think the spirit really wants me to leave. I fear if I don't, I would put my friend and myself in danger.
Hello? Who are you? This way. I hear you. Over here. I come in peace. Help me. Please help me. I'm scared. Please. Don't be scared. I'm not gonna hurt you. So what's the plan? Going back to the city. Doing my thing. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too. I feel really bad. I'm sorry you didn't get your vacation. What? No. Are you kidding me? It was fun. I'm glad I could help. Still a little nervous about it though. I'm a little nervous about it. Why? Um, I'm worried about my son. I just hope it's done. I have a feeling it's no longer going to be an issue. Mm -hmm. I hope so. I really do. Well, you do know I'm just a phone call away, right? I know. I hope you're right. I got you. I love you. God, I love you too. <laughs> I'll call you. All right.